Hi everyone, my name is Monica Bergnoni. I graduated from Regina High School in 2013. After that, I decided to go to Elbian College where I played softball and I studied biology. Elbian College didn't have a nursing program, so I ended up going to University of Detroit Mercy after Elbian College for 14 months and did their accelerated nursing program where I earned my bachelor's of science in nursing. I decided then to move out to Colorado where I live now. I live in Denver, Colorado, and I'm currently a critical care neurology nurse at Swedish Medical Center. And welcome to a day in the STEM life with me. So I'm currently walking into work. I have to get screened before I go into work, um, just to make sure that we don't have COVID or any symptoms. This is our supply room. This is where we get all our supplies we need for the day. Endless supplies. This is a typical room setup, and sometimes this is what my IV poles can look like. I see any type of stroke patient. Um, we see ischemic strokes, hemorrhagic strokes, tumor resections, Anybody that has neurological deficits, they usually come to us. Following are two pictures of strokes that I usually see. On the right, you will see some white matter. That is actually a stroke in dead tissue after a stroke. The next picture is a different type of stroke, and you'll see that the um, black area that's circled in red that is also dead tissue following a stroke. And this is why patients will have symptoms of neurological deficits because that brain tissue is no longer alive. I get to work directly with neurosurgeons. They usually put different types of drains in people's head to monitor oxygen and also to relieve some of the pressure in the brain after a hemorrhagic stroke. My education at Regina High School in science and math has helped me excel in the nursing profession. As a nurse, you have great amounts of autonomy and endless opportunities for growth. Now, as I progress in my nursing profession, I am applying to nurse practitioner school. 